Hello there, I'm Mikko from the Body of Christ and welcome to another Leadership Reflection. Um, we had an awesome session today in Maximum CEO and I want to share some thoughts with you. First of all, today we started with prayer, which is a very good way to start any meeting, especially a meeting where you want to build the Kingdom of God or learn the skills to build the Kingdom of God. And it was a very strong prayer and we had like strong sense of worship. And I'm not into worship traditionally, um, never been into this sort of hallelujah kind of style things. But I want to share some thoughts about worship first of all. And what I think true worship is. For me, at least in this meeting, it was like really coming to the understanding that God is powerful and Jesus is the King of Kings. And like really observing this reality and speaking it out and starting from that point. And that I think is very important uh, in general whenever we're building the Kingdom of God or in life in general, that we start from that power position from above, that we first observe the magnificence of Jesus and then we act it out. We act accordingly. You know, so often we observe what's over here, our circumstances and the lies of the enemy that you're weak, you're pathetic, it's beyond hope, whatever, all that lies is about this. No. And we observe the fleshly things or the carnal things, that is the physical things, and then we live after the flesh because we have observed the carnal, the flesh, the physical, and then we get physical results. We don't, uh, in from that position, we don't operate in power of God because we have uh, limited ourselves to an area that's outside of the spiritual realm, which is like the founda foundation also, but the fountain from which the power draws because uh, all the power has been given on heaven and in earth to Jesus and he has that power and when we abide in him then we draw out and walk in that power but abiding in him happens through observation in the spirit and that I would call worship so what happened here um, in this meeting and in this prayer by acknowledging first of all that Jesus is the king, our king, and greater than any king on earth. And his power and his lordship is supreme. And that we are adopted into the same family as Jesus is. And that we have that power. Like, by kind of filling our understanding and our minds with that understanding or that reality, gives us the so-called faith to work from that. Really faith in this instance is, well, it's looking to the invisible. And you can read that in the Hebrews as well. That's pretty close to its definition there. Faith is practically looking at the invisible things of God. And that is pretty much the spiritual realm and the truths that God has said in reality or in motion that he has declared through his word. That's why it is said that the word, the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Because how can you follow a truth if you're not even, if you don't even know what that truth is? It's impossible to act in faith relating to that if you don't have a revelation of that fact, first of all. But once you have the fact and you look at that fact, although it is invisible, then by observing that fact, you can then, of course, act accordingly. And that act acting accordingly, I would say, is the works of faith, which demonstrates that you have had the faith, in, first of all. Plus, what's the use of faith if you don't act on it? There's no point. I mean, observe, observe, but the point is to build, the point is to act, the point is to work. That faith is given for us to work those same works that Jesus did and greater works. 
So what I call worship is that process of observation. And it directly conflicts our observations on this flesh side here, which is what we can see immediately and what we can hear from the news, which is most of it lies. And here in the spirit and in Jesus specifically, there is truth. So it depends what we are looking at and what we are acknowledging, but also what we are acknowledging with our mouths and with our confession and most importantly, with our works and with our actions. So it is the follow-up here is extremely important. Otherwise, it is like James said that you're like a person who looks in the mirror and he sees what kind of person he is internally. Then he turns around, completely forgets what kind of person he was and continues his day as if nothing happened. And I find it challenging that this is what we see happening in many church services, really. We worship, worship, worship. We don't understand. We don't worship without understanding. That's really important to worship with your understanding. Because how can you act on something that you don't understand? But anyway, in these circles, we worship, we hear the word, we observe the word, at least to some extent. But then nothing happens. We just go home, eat lunch, go watch football, whatever. Nothing happens. So there's no works of that faith. We really need to change that. We really need to start worshipping God in our understanding, but also with our actions. And that's uh, what the next leadership reflection is all about, or that gives you one tool towards that. And I hope you join me there.